It, automation is what Vault Hunters is all about. Well, maybe not all about, but one of the really important factors. And automating the Vault Altar here is one of the more difficult things that can be done. In this guide, I show you not only how to automate the completion with the Altar Conduit, but also placing Vault Rocks and ejecting the Vault Rocks. All you gotta do is stand here until you got all the crystals that you want. Sounds pretty neat, doesn't it? Well, stick around and we'll go over all the details. Hey everybody, it's Ozone, and today we're on this simple little platform in order to demonstrate how to set up the Altar Conduit and to show how to completely automate crafting up your crystals. So without further ado, let's get into it. So to start off, we're talking about the Vault Altar. Everybody has one of these things, and you put your rock on there, you throw out some materials at it, and you get your Vault Crystals. If you've done anything with Vault Hunters, this is not news to you. What may be news, however, is that there's a special block called an Altar Conduit, which is specifically made for helping to automate crafting those crystals. But there are quite a few requirements to it. So first we're going to go over how to set that up. But then we're going to take it to the next step and automate the crafting of the crystals repeatedly. And let me also put a great big caveat on this. This is not an early game thing. No, 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 no. This is something you're going to be looking at doing around level 40 or more. So even though I'm demonstrating this with really low level crystals here, this is a creative world. It just makes it all that much easier. All right, so let's get started. As I explained, this altar conduit block is the key to everything, but it is unlocked by a mod specifically the Alter Automation mod, which requires a whopping 32 research points in order to unlock. Not only that, but it's locked behind other requirements. You need refined storage or applied energistics. Both of these are four knowledge points if you don't have anything else already unlocked in the storage department. And again, they also have requirements in the form of power, which you can get from iron generators for a mere one, but the power mod for five is probably a better way to go. It all depends on what your power usage is, but most people that I've heard of just skip iron generators and go straight to power. So we're talking at least 41 knowledge points to get this set up. And that's not including any penalties you might pay because you've already unlocked other things. And so I've set up a pretty simple refined storage system here. I'm not showing any of the power generation and instead just using a creative power cell to make things easy. But in order to use the Alter Conduit, you first do a shift right click on the controller itself, and then do a shift right click onto the Vault Altar. And you can see the material starting to come from the system over to the Vault Altar, where it says the crystal is complete. And that is the extent of the automation that you get from the Alter Conduit by itself. You still need to put a button or something onto the device and give it a redstone signal in order to actually create the vault crystal once all the items have been completed. And the process is the same whether you're using applied energistics or refined storage. You shift right click onto the main controller object and then you place the altar conduit on your altar. And it does work. And for the sake of completeness, I'll say that these items move across here fairly slowly. When you've got such small quantities like I do, it's not that big of a deal. But there are some enhancements that you can also make in order to speed it all up, which you will definitely want as you're getting into the higher levels and higher quantities of items needed by the altar. If we right click on the altar conduit itself, we see that there are four slots over on this side for your enhancements. And there are three different kinds of enhancements. You have the speed enhancement, which makes things move from the controller to the altar more quickly. You have the quantity enhancement, which brings in more items at a given time as it makes that journey. And the teleport enhancement, which eliminates the animation between the controller and the altar completely. Generally, I would say two speed and two quantity should be more than enough. But if you have like a very busy area and you don't want to be rendering the transportation, well, a teleport enhancement can go a long way toward improving your game performance. So now when we put an item on there, yeah, things move across pretty quickly. And like I said, this works great. It's fast, but you do have to click the button each time and you have to place another rock onto the altar in order to start the next crafting process. So what if you could fix that? What if you could do better? Well, there's a way. So the easy one to fix is giving it a redstone signal. And you do that by just creating a timer and constantly giving it a redstone signal because it won't pop off the crystal unless it's done. So a simple vanilla timer is all that's necessary. And the simplest of these is two observers facing each other. See the little flashing light down there? It's constantly pulsing a signal into this altar. So now when we place a crystal, they come flying across, gives a little pulse and automatically pops it off. 
Now, two observers facing each other is not exactly efficient and can have some performance problems, but there are a number of vanilla solutions to providing a redstone signal on a regular interval, and I'm not going to go into that. You can make an ethyl hopper clock, you can have a bunch of repeaters on a delay. There are lots of options, and there may even be some modded options that I'm missing. I did look, and I didn't find any. There used to be some in 1.16, but I don't know. I didn't find anything in the 1.18 pack. So if you know of a modded solution that gives you a timing interval within one block, well, please leave a comment down below, because like I said, I couldn't find one. But the bottom line is, it doesn't really matter that much. There are a lot of ways to give a redstone signal. What's a lot harder is how to put the stone onto the altar itself. No, there is only one way to do that, and that requires another mod. Specifically, it requires modular routers, which is another three knowledge points, bringing our total up to 44 if you do nothing else. Modular routers is kind of a specialized mod. Basically, you've only got one block. You've got a router and then you have different cards that tell it what to do. So we'll start off placing the router itself facing right into the conduit, not into the altar, but into the conduit itself. And next we need an activator module. The activator module is used to emulate player actions, and by default, the action is a right click. So basically with this activator module, we're telling it to do a right click. As with all modules, you have to configure the face. So since the front of the router is facing into the conduit, we pick the front, and then we add the module into the router. We also add a whole bunch of vault rocks, but it's not doing anything yet. And that's because this is the only thing that has a player upgrade so that it can emulate a specific player. We're not talking about like a player damage trap, which kind of generically emulates a player. This has upgrades to let us emulate the specific player and specifically me. Sorry, I misspoke. It's actually the security upgrade. This is what we use in order to emulate the specific player. So with the security upgrade in hand, we do a shift right click at the air and set the owner to be, well, me. Now, when we add this upgrade in, we see, oh, it's added a crystal. And now it's automatically triggered it with a redstone signal and causing it to complete. Oh, look, it's added another crystal and it's triggered it yet again. So all of the crystals that you put into the inventory of the router will get completed. Well, assuming you, that your inventory system has all of the resources that are necessary. But it's an amazing system that can help you craft a whole bunch of crystals in a relatively short period of time. But we can be a little bit more efficient than that, right? Yeah, I think so. Now let me say up front, this might be some fairly janky redstone. I'm not the best at redstone but I think it works. The bottom line is we need to remove the observer in order to stop the observer clock. So a little simple sticky piston and a lever does that just fine. That way you can stop the process. But we might as well stop the modular router while we're at it. And that's where we've got this redstone behind it. It basically takes the signal from this block, wraps it back around, puts it through a repeater, and shoves it back into the modular router. Now the modular router itself has controls to make it redstone enabled. And it, by default, it's going to be redstone mode always. So if we change it to redstone mode post, it should only put a crystal on there when we've gotten a redstone pulse, which we should never get when the observer is removed. And I've got this set up to demonstrate that process. This router has a flinger module in it, which shoots it out like a cannon. So if I put some of this redstone in here, you see that we are regularly shooting out some of this redstone <laughs> had a pretty good clip, honestly, but it's good enough to make it stop. And if we break that, well, this isn't shooting out redstone anymore. So this is going to work pretty well. So if we clear the current crystal that's in here by using just a regular lever, now we see that the vault rock is not placed back on the crystal until we put the observer back in place. Yep, there it goes, and it's completed once again. And of course, when we pull the observer back out, it stops. No more crystals are placed onto the altar. Are there better ways to do this? Yeah, probably. But again, this is a vanilla solution. There's probably some modded solutions out there that will be better. Again, I'm not the best at redstone, but it works. It makes it stop processing your crystals when you're done. And really, what more could you ask for? Well, I hope you've enjoyed this quick tutorial on how to use the Vault Altar Conduit, both in its normal capacity, or intended capacity maybe, as well as the more automated capacity that we've got here using modular routers. This is something that I just didn't find anybody else talking about on YouTube. As always, if you like this kind of content, well, 
please consider subscribing to the channel. I really love it and I really appreciate all the people out there that comment and subscribe. So thank you in advance. And if you'd like to see more little guides like this, well, please give me a comment about that too. I love comments. But in the meantime, remember, be excellent to each other. I'm out.